Okay, I think I finally got my workflow down. CC3 to iClone7 to Maya to UE4.27. Okay, so I create my character the way I want it inside of Character Creator 3. I export to iClone and the character is transferring to iClone and here goes the character okay now with the character selected which it is I click edit in 3d exchange okay character is now in 3d exchange I export to other 3d format export FBX I name the character, uh, which will be Cartoon Chick. Um, right here, target tool preset Maya Win 64 bit keep morph source. And don't need to include any anim animation because <clears throat> we don't have any. And everything else is default. And then we find where we're going to put it. I'm going to put it inside of uh, CC3 to iClone to Maya to UE4 folder. Okay. And I go. Okay. It's exported. Now I go to Maya. I import into Maya. Go to the folder. CC3 to iClone to Maya to UE4. Double click, get my cartoon chick. I import, this will probably be clicked, so I unclick it and then I go resolve clashing nodes with the file name. Leave it like that, everything else is default. Import. Okay, characters in here, I press F. I can click front up here I love this feature uh, the character already has bones in there as you can see there they go what I need to do is with this selected I go to skeleton human IK I come over to to uh, create character definition and then I select the root again I come over here edit character definition load character definition template this is a template I got online iClone G5 STD character updated open and I press OK there we go sets everything up beautifully I immediately lock and then I go to the uh, create control rig Okay, we now have a control rig. Um, now I go to animation there. Okay, and let's animate. Okay, so right here, S will give me the first key. We scoot up right there. We kick the kick foot and then we do another S okay there we go okay and let's rotate the foot we went up a couple of little we got went up a couple little frames and we click s again and then we go over here and let's rotate the arms forward and her body and let's press S again and let's go over a little bit more oops we'll do the head
you can press S again. And then we will, I don't know, just make this arm go out again. And have her do this. And bring this arm down. And press S again. And I have my weird little animation. Just a little something just for just for now, right? Okay, so that's my animation. What I do is I go to CC base root right here. I go to export selection. Um, I go to where I want to put it, which is going to be CC3 to iClone to Maya to UE4. I'll just drop it up in here. And I'll put my funny anim. That's what I'll call it. And over here, just got to make sure animation is checked. Everything else is default. Just take a look. Everything is default. Nothing has changed. Okay. And it is an FBX export and export selection. You can see down here it's working. Okay. Now, I go to my Unreal Engine. Here, I drop in my chick. So let us go to content. I add a folder, right click, new folder. Cartoon chick. Double click, right click, import, desktop. CC3 tie clone, cartoon chick. Here, everything stays default. Skeletal mesh, import mesh, uh, import animations. There is no animations. So I'm going to uncheck that. Um, and that is it. Import. Okay, so everything looks good. Here goes my chick. Put her up there. Okay. Um, I will go to cinematics. I will add a level sequence. Um, just whatever. Um, anim test. Save. Anim test. I uh, select the character, go to track, add to sequence, cartoon chick. Now import the animation. Go back to content, right click, new folder, animation, double click, Right click, import my funny anim, that's from Maya. And right here, I'm going to put cartoon chick. Um, and then uh, everything else is default. Everything else is default, import. Okay, here it goes. Um, now, in the sequencer, animation, my funny anim. That is my workflow. So that's it. Bye-bye.